All right, scalpers, <clears throat> just got a phone call from Al Roque. Uh, he wanted me to make sure that I uh, told you guys first that they got a new graphic pack for uh, their vendor. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those uh, burgers on the side, the pizza, the frozen swans, frozen treats up there. It's the new swans graphics. Uh, this is really a fantastic, fantastic graphic pack. Now, depending on which video you've watched, you may or may not know. See what, where it says cheeseburgers, um, and you see the two burgers on the inside and the nozzle? That, those graphics are on the inside. That's a real nozzle. That's not a graphic. The nozzle isn't. The graphics are on the inside of the machine on the left inside wall. That's because you can look right through that window and watch that nozzle work. But the new graphics are fantastic. They really are. Now, here we go, right here. That's the nozzle. What happens is people make their select, they put their money in, they make their selection. As soon as that happens, the chest, the freezer chest door opens up. When it opens up, the nozzle's been programmed to position itself directly over the product. You see, in that chest, there are dividers for different sizes of products. You, could, you can set it where you got pints of ice cream down there. You can set it where you have frozen dinners that are bigger. Uh, you can set it like that ice cream sandwich it's pulling out of there now. So what happens is it positions itself over where the product has been set that has been selected by the buyer. It lowers itself down into the freezer chest door, drawer, I'm sorry, into the freezer chest itself, and then pulls the product out, drops it in the delivery door, and then what happens, the freezer chest door closes. People stand there and watch this and watch this. I'll never forget when we first, the very first one we ever put in, before we start putting them in schools, I, I've told you guys about how we had a, a big run for about six, eight months where we just put them in all over Maryland and Virginia and downtown D.C. Well, there's a big hotel that has an underground passageway, a, a well-lit, uh, beautiful passageway that goes over to one of the federal buildings from the hotel. So Rick got the idea. They, ha they have a, a couple of uh, vendors down there. One sells, uh, one guy sells coffee, of course, and then another guy sells sandwiches. So Rick got the idea that we should put a machine in that, in that causeway, uh, close to the hotel's end of the causeway, not the federal end, and uh, the hotel okayed it. Well, the first day it was in there, for the next month, what would happen when we would go down there, there would be two or three people buying, and then there would be four or five people watching the robotic arm work. That robotic arm coupled with these graphics will make you money. So again, get your foot in the door by putting that frozen food machine in places because they can't, they can't stop you. They haven't got the, the snack guy and the, the bottlers and, or whoever's there cannot stop you. That most of the time what's going to happen is they're going to go to them. They mean the location is going to go to them and say, hey, we've been, had an offer to put this machine in. Uh, will you buy the machine and put it in for us? Eight times out of ten, the vendor's going to say no, I swear to you. And we, we matter of fact, that's a bogus uh, statement on my part. We've done it 30 and 40 times in a row, and the vendor's never said he'd do it. Uh, matter of fact, if I stop and think about it, I, I can only think of maybe three or four times that a vending company decided to buy the machine just to, you know, because, because they were bright enough to know. I was going to say just to make sure we weren't in the account. That had a lot to do with it. But they were bright enough to know that the frozen food machine would work. Most vendors aren't that bright. They don't want to take on any more debt. Why? Because they only got 7, 8, 10, 12 percent of their yearly outlay uh, in their budget for machines. So you got it all over them. You're a new guy. You're going to be always buying new machines. It's all about signing the account. Make sure that you use about a three or four year, five year agreement on this. And also remember in our agreement, it says that we don't pay commissions on frozen treats, frozen foods of any kind. So that's really important. You have the edge here, guys. This will get your foot in the door where you can overturn the snacks and the bottlers. So I just want to show you the new graphics. It's fantastic.
Love the new graphics. They look fantastic. And remember, swans will deliver to you. So if you can get a location that's going to, that maybe has an a area that's secured where you can put your, your frozen food chest at swans, they'll even bring out a frozen food chest and let you use it. Or they'll bring it to your office or warehouse, whatever. This is important, guys. This will get your foot in the door. This will help you scalp some accounts. Give Al a call. He's waiting on your call right now. He was excited for me to tell you guys first. I have completed my mission. Now it's up to you. Give Al a call.